The Minister of Finance of the City of Bremen, Caroline Lynette, revealed this during a meeting with popular democratic movement leader, McHenry Venani. She mentioned that the German authority is yet to convene a ceremony to return the scars to Namibia at a date yet to be announced. Germanist ambassador to Namibia Christian Schlager emphasized that negotiations are underway with Namibia on the return of the skulls. Charité clinics in Berlin have identified uh, 22 further remains for quite some time now. The Namibian side is aware of that fact and um, so we will, would like to put this all together in order to have it as one ceremony starting in Berlin, ending in Windhoek at whatever date will be agreed. Um, that is... Um, I cannot say, tell the date because it hasn't been agreed. We are looking forward to have it as soon as possible. But again, I, I need to say that to, to avoid any misunderstanding, um, speed as important as, as it is, but it is not as important as maintaining the seriosity and the dignity of the process. And we need to make sure that such necessary arrangements are being agreed and being implemented in order to uh, secure such a dignified process. While appreciating the move, the PDM leader, however, stated that it is high time for the German government to issue a formal apology to Namibia, particularly to the Nama and other Herero descendants. We should have a situation where we rebuild people that was uh, negatively affected and descendants that were negatively affected by the genocide. One, it is important that we expect from the German authority a candid a remorse of an apology before we really engage into how we can address and redress those communities that were that were dispossessed of land, that were dispossessed of cattle, and most importantly and fundamentally the loss of life. Now one thing that is very clear to us is that you can't not put a monetary value to life to the loss of life. No person can ever done that. Lynette formed part of a delegation of 60 top officials who are in Namibia to strengthen ties in the areas of education, logistics, sanitation, as well as politics. Kaipa Herokanji, NBC News, Vinduk.